Uh, I'm now going to cover the topic of um, the Humax um, uh, FreeSat um, FoxSat um, uh, 320 gig uh, hard drive FreeSat receiver. Uh, it's called FreeSat Plus uh, because it gives you, it's similar to a Sky Plus in terms of it allows you to record. And it comes in a kit um, with, with a satellite dish with a quad LMB. And the reason, unlike the other, the other uh, FreeSat kits we sell that come in single LMBs, the reason this course comes in quad is that the FreeSat box demands um, uh, two cables. This is how you're able to look at one thing and record another. So I'll just quickly go through the dish first all and then I'll talk about the box. Um, so the, the dish comes with an arm here, which we have fully assembled. It comes obviously as a kit when it's sent to customers. Uh, this arm is simply bolted onto the wall, um, and then the, the dish itself then is simply put, um, added onto the arm. Um, there's full videos and instructions within the TV Trade website on how to assemble and align a satellite dish. And then we come on to the box itself. So you can see it's an attractive looking box. Um, uh, this one here is manufactured by Humax. Generally for the more complicated um, FreeSat brands, we have a preference for Humax purely because they're, they're, there's a lot of things that go wrong with these boxes, but Humax have a very, very good reputation. And so for a very high-tech box, it gives a very low levels of problems. Um, along with that, uh, what you have is a uh, pretty snazzy looking uh, remote control. Um, there's this lead here. There's the user's um, manual. And also you have a HDMI lead and also a scarf lead. Okay, so um, basically, to give you an overview of uh, FreeSat itself, FreeSat is a company that's owned that jointly owned by ITV and BBC, and the purpose of it is to give um, an alternative to the sky, so a standard format to offer free satellite channels. Okay, um, so the most basic box in the FreeSat range is the standard definition. The high definition box, as you'd imagine, does exactly the same as the standard, except that it offers the facility to have high definition channels and also has an Ethernet port on it. Uh, and the, the FreeSat Plus is really the, the the free equivalent of a Sky Plus box. So there's much of the functionality of the free um, um, FreeSat or of the Sky Plus. It doesn't have a range of channels, but you don't have to subscribe. You simply buy, have the box installed, and then you have a lot of the functionalities, such as pausing live television, looking at one channel uh, while recording another. So um, I'll just give you a quick uh, view of the back of this box. So what you can see here, you have two inputs on it, LMB uh, uh, in one and LMB in two, okay? Um, also, there's an LMB out here in the middle, but that's not really used. Um, uh, th there's two SCARTs on it, a TV SCART and a VCR SCART, with HDMI um, output. This is what allows you to run the HD, uh, HD picture from the box directly to the television. If you use the SCARTs, of course, you lose the HD resolution. Um, there's an Ethernet port, very handy feature, become much so, more so over a period of time, as people stream live television from their broadband as it gets faster. And also there's a USB port here, which is um, very good for, um, you know, you can put in a USB key here, connect the hard drive, for, either for copying stuff over or for programming a box. Um, and then there's an on-off switch on the box itself. When, you, um, uh, uh, when you're putting this system up, um, there's three pieces to it basically. There's a satellite dish that goes outside, there's a box that sits in the living room, and there's also an installation kit. It's not included in this um, in the kit because sometimes people have the cable and things like that already themselves. But as an add-on here, we have a standard um, free-to-air kit here. Okay, So it comes with 20 meters of satellite cable, uh, four F connectors which are used to connect uh, onto the LMBs in the back of the box. Uh, we also have a um, plugs and bolts here, which are used to mount the dish in the wall. Uh, clips here for clipping the cable in between, and tie wraps in case you want to tie it off. Uh, it also comes in a white version, but black obviously would be the most popular. Um, I, I, one note of caution I would say with this thing is, this is for um, a standard definition um, a box that would have a single LMB in it. So um, there's sufficient um, cables and, and connectors on this uh, for, um, for putting in a, a Humax box. Uh, but you might be best off to order a couple of extra clips, or if you buy this um, in addition to the Humax box, normally we'll throw in a few extra connectors to, uh, to cover the eventuality that you want to join the cable in the attic. Um, in terms of the box itself, it doesn't come pre-programmed. What you must do when you install the box is you'll be prompted to enter a postcode, okay? If you live in the UK, you'd obviously enter your local postcode for your local uh, TVs. The main impact of it is it gives you that variation of... Um, of the BBCs and the ITVs, so obviously if you enter a London uh, postcode, you'll get the ITV version for London and BBC London. Um, the final, um, normally I would say, uh, what we would recommend to people is using um, postcodes from the North of Ireland, simply because they'll give you U UTV and uh, BBC Northern Ireland, which is probably of more interest to people generally in the Republic. Um, I, an example of a postcode you could use would be BT, which is the code for North of Ireland, 
uh, and then 1188, um, and that'll go in and successfully probe in your box. And once you have it, um, that it takes about maybe about 60 seconds to fully uh, go through the full transponder list, fully pre probe in your box, and then it's ready to go. So basically, that's a full overview of um, the FreeSat box, uh, uh, FreeSat Plus box. Uh, from UMAX along with the satellite dish and the optional uh, installation kit and there's everything here from beginning to end to install a, um, a free sat system.